Have you ever tried making a teleporter using F3X? You know, the thing where you sit on an invisible seat and it quote unquote teleports you to somewhere else? Yeah, so that thing is cool and all, but I've noticed two major problems with it. First of all, let's say that someone decides to go AFK and forgets to jump off of the seat. If you try and use the teleporter, it literally doesn't work. This is because if a player is already on a seat, another player cannot sit on that same seat. Second, some teleporters are designed to have the teleporter going up to be on one side and the teleporter going down on the other. That means that if someone didn't know which side to go on, they could potentially get stuck. But, I found some ways to fix this. But first, let me show you how to make a teleporter. First, you'll need to equip your F3X tool, and create your design for your teleporter. Now, you'll need to select your design, and duplicate it. Place it above your first teleporter. Now, create a seat and resize it so that when you sit on it, you'll be teleported to the other teleporter. Finally, make the seat invisible so that no one will be able to see it. And there you have it. A basic teleporter. Now, it's time to make it even better. Now, for our first problem, with the goofy AFK person, we can duplicate the seat multiple times. That way there won't only be one seat for people to use, but multiple. For our second problem, we'll actually want to duplicate our first set of teleporters and place them across from each other. Now, highlight the seats and turn them 180 degrees like this. Make sure you adjust the size of all of the seats or people might get stuck. Now, all you need is a big platform for the teleporters at the top, and boom! A working set of teleporters with no glitches. Hopefully you enjoyed the video or it helped you in some way. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.